welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. In front of us we have the Eaton Grundig Edition Field BT Radio. And we're going to do a medium wave and short wave daytime band scan. The current time is 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA. So we'll start it up. And we'll go down to the bottom of the band here. Okay. Get the volume and treble. Bass. Love having that. It's a great, great radio for that. We have a uh, different, uh, we have a wide and narrow filter. We'll leave it on wide. Start tuning up the band. I worked with you. I told you that from the Mike Sando piece from ESPN.com, which is one of my favorite pieces ever. WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. Quarterback tears. And I told you. That's the Venn diagram of former. WIND, Chicago, Illinois, the answer. And uh, hope. W-I-L-L, Urbana, Illinois. It would continue as the British. Six for 15, two home runs, six RBIs. First pitch, swing the line drive. Base hit in the right center. That's going to score two. Picks is in and do home. Right behind him and over to third goes. Got some uh, lightning going on, I think, down there. This is, um, or down over <laughs> Out east, uh, this is WKZO, uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan, sounding really good. This is a good uh, station during the day for me to test its uh, distance capability, and this is about 140 miles away. Six hundred is W. MT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Definitely storms coming in. Hopefully we can get through the nice band scheme. 5-3 ground on Jonathan to pinch hit. Scope is when swinging the bat. WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. WFMFN, P21. Yeah. Bruce, a lifelong resident of Wisconsin. I think he also has lived in Florida, but uh, he mm -hmm. grew up in the Milwaukee area. Great umpire, now retired. Cubs game on the WSCR. The score, Chicago Illinois. After that game, he told me one time, he said that Milt Pappas came up. Seven hundred, WLW. Sometimes it'll come in during the day, but pretty hard. Could have a pretty good radio to pick this up. Okay. All right, we'll take it to 720. If the ball is down, if the throw is good for Bogarts to first, is he out? Rondell. WGN, no, Chicago, Illinois, so. White Sox ball Something game. Something happened uh, where well, the pitcher just took a little too much time. You know what? Maybe some mild cognitive issues. Maybe should get this checked out. WNDZ, Portage, you know, Indiana. More serious issues and definitely should. Mostly cloudy, a chance for showers and thunderstorms, a low of 74. Tomorrow, Labor WDBM, Day, clouds Chicago, and Illinois. sun, warm and humid, a chance for... ...medical system that we're dealing with and the people that are involved... WCPT, in Willow Springs, system. Illinois, very heavy about 40 miles away. But it's a lift that we must make because... That's super far. Uh, this is WAIT, Crystal Lake, Illinois. See if I could get that Michigan station WKAR. I couldn't hear it there. All right, moving. 
WLS, Chicago, Illinois. The little high pitched tone here there is from the camera. I get that with this camera. WOKY, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois. WFAW for Atkinson, Wisconsin. WNTA, Chicago, Illinois. WHAA, WHA, Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, running game, then you really will uh, stunt the progress of your offense. Because so, if he can't WMVP, get down the Chicago, Illinois, throws, ESP you don't have ESPN 1000. The weapons to run the football. Notice the locals, of course, come booming, and then the semi locals, you got to turn the volume right on up. Because here's the thing um, the defense is going to be bad, so you're going to. So it's AGC circuit, must not be the best, but. Still gets the stations. Uh, WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. You, you won't get a toy in the Happy Meal, but you can get a toy for a dime. WLIP, and that, and Kenosha, Wisconsin. These toys for is going to go to WHFB, Benton Harbor, Michigan, about 100 miles away. Just hearing something. WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. WNWI, Oklahoma, Illinois. WMBI, Chicago, Illinois. The Raiders are chaos right now. They just traded their best player. Uh, okay. Um, the WISN. Broncos are chaos. They, they don't know Milwaukee, if Wisconsin. going to be any good. Case Keenum was nice for... They have their big anniversary sale going on right now for some savings. Or find a link at RMR. WYLL, Chicago, Illinois. All right, off to the Commonwealth of... Music on 1180, WSQR, Sycamore, Illinois. The Squirrel. I'd like to let it play, but I can't. <laughs> WRTO, Chicago, Illinois. WCLO, James, Wisconsin. Has thinned out significantly. At 33,032 in the ballpark at one point. WSBC, Chicago, Illinois. I'm hearing some country music on WEKZ, Monroe, Wisconsin, about 60 miles away. Barely picking that up. Visit sprinklerfisherchicago.org. Save a life today. Sprinkler 1280, WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. Bobby Scott is in now. Let's climb out a little bit. Boston Red Sox, Dan Hooker, as much as it needs. Play for Santa Lula, please. This is a real tricky station, 1290. I'm not picking anything up with it. Okay. Hello. Uh, WRDZ, LaGrange, Illinois. WIBA, Madison, Illinois.
Okay, that is two stations running against each other with this radio. Trying to pick them up. Trying to separate them. Let's just get past those. Are annoying. It's 1360. Music on WLBK, Decal, Illinois. There's more music up here. I think these are all music stations. WBEL, South Beloit, Illinois. Cool. Not a bad AM receiver. Not the best, but not bad. Not for the price of this units. For what it can do. FM, incredible. <laughs> We're not doing an FM band scan, but just so you know, if you watch the video, I'll put it up here. The FM is totally amazing. Holy cow. Uh, so 1390 WGRB, Chicago, Illinois. Uh oh, Top Gun. <laughs> That's what I think of. WRJN, Racine, Illinois. 1400 AM, sweet. Okay, let's go 1410. It's on your phone, right? you have WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. WEEF, Deerfield. WROK, Rockford, Illinois. Fourteen fifty WCEV Cicero Illinois. The fourteen ninety, so I pick up Iron Country. I just picked that up. WGEZ, Beloit, Wisconsin. It's cool we got the call letters, but not very clear signal. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this back up. Yeah, I have to really crank the volume knob on those weak stations. Okay, usually there's a Zion station there. Not picking it up. Just barely picking that up. It's WRDD, Waukesha, Wisconsin. Some of these stations, you know, this is a Sunday and Labor Day weekend, so I'm guessing uh, some of these stations are turned off or not running. For some particular reason, but that's okay. Because some of these I should be picking up. Oh, there we go. Some music. 1560s is WGLB, Port Washington, Wisconsin. WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Usually get a hazardous road. It's not coming in. Yeah. Okay. It's a weak signal. WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin. This is WOZN, Madison, Wisconsin. This is WBON, Chicago, Illinois. I think that pretty much concludes the medium wave band scan. All right, we turn this down. So what we're going to do here, it's daytime. I'm not sure what I'm going to pick up. Let me just dust this off here. Um, this radio uh, has external jacks. I don't know if you've seen this. I mean, if you watch the video, you'll see all, everything about this radio, but I'll show you. Um, I don't have an antenna yet to hook up to these uh, back jacks. Otherwise, I would use them. I'm just going to clip my Kato T1 wire to the whip right here. So I'm going to pull this up, and we're going to clip right to that. But yeah, I'd love to get up a, an antenna, try the medium wave with a long wire, 
try the shore wave with a, uh, a nice wire going outside. Uh, it would be kind of cool to see what kind of results, and even an FM wire. Man, that'd be amazing to see what I can get with the FM, like a dipole. Um, that would be really cool because this thing alone on FM is just shockingly good. So we're going to go ahead and hook up that wire. So let me go ahead and do that. So yeah, it's just, uh, it's got a little fatter end here, but this will accommodate. Just kind of stretches over that. There we go. And this is my T1 wire. It's going out. It's got an adapter there. It comes with it. So if you have a radio that has a plug, you can use the plug. If not, if you have only antenna only, you can just hook up this adapter that comes with it. And I have it strung out to my balcony, about 22 feet. Um, so it gets a little bit of a outside reception. So let's go ahead and bring the antenna out there and see what we can pick up on the shortwave today. So shortwave on this radio, you have three different bands. Go to shortwave one. We'll leave it on wide, we'll turn this up. You have gain. So if it gets too crazy, I can turn the gain down, which is good. We're pretty low on the band, so I don't think we're gonna pick anything up during the day this low. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quick tune. And I'm just gonna, it takes you up a thousand per, which is really nice. You can slow tune. And then you can also even go finer tuning than that, I believe, on this radio. So um, we got fast tuning and slow. I'm just trying to see on this radio if it has that. I'm looking quick. Nope. So I think it's just by five on the shortwave. Okay. So quick tune. We're going to go up. We'll try this range and we'll just do a seek. We'll see if it can find anything on the broadcast bands. It does uh, definitely just goes to different broadcast bands, which makes it easier. And most of what we can pick up during the day that we're trying out. But yeah, this radio is really cool. Um, I don't do a lot of shortwave listening with it, mainly just FM. Uh, and I do like AM on here uh, for local. It sounds really good. I mean, the speaker on here is amazing. Wow. Y con dos strikes, con cero y dos, le suena un pelotazo. Mira, Guajiro, mira, mira, mira. Ouch. Ouch, in the rodilla. I know the weather. I know. Cool. Signal strength. Fast. Okay, there's a mode. I'm going to have to figure. I can't remember what I used to set that mode to slow now that I'm looking at this. Clock signal? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm looking through the camera. So you can, there is a way to do it. So you can hold this down goes to slow, so when you turn this, now you got the one kilohertz stepping. Yeah, it does have that. <laughs> I pretty much bought this radio to use as a FMDX radio, so I really never got a chance to go through the shortwave and have a lot of fun with it. So now, for this winter, I definitely am going to. So let's go ahead and continue to seek forward. Um, okay, so that stopped. Uh, and it came back to the beginning of the band. Now we go to shortwave two. And we'll seek up from here. For some reason there was a little glitch. It was thinking it was on 10 megahertz still, even though it was displaying 11 and a half. Okay. Go ahead and go up. Let's see if we can hear anything on shortwave two. I believe you only have ten it's memories. Fulfillment of meaning in establishing a new covenant and making it a memorial based upon a new foundation. So you get ten memories for shortwave one, shortwave two, and shortwave three, giving you thirty total for shortwave. You get ten for FM and ten for AM. That's where I think it kind of falls short. Fifty presets. Uh, I wish it had a few more. Especially on the AM band, FM band. The next day, and still have all of those happenings on Passover between the evenings. See what else we can pick up. Mm 
estimados oyentes, nuestro saludo desde La Habana en una nueva presentación de Formalmente Informal, una realización de Radio Habana Cuba. Y usted tiene que hallarlo cuando me quita la pregunta por teléfono. The nice thing about this radio is it also has the uh, illumination. You can turn the backlight on and off with the batteries too, which is really nice. You got a line out jack, which is really good for recording. You can disable that beep too. I just forgot how to do that. <laughs> I had this plugged in and I unplugged it, put batteries in. So yeah. <laughs> It comes with a really cool AC adapter. I think it's a linear. It's real heavy, so you don't have any interference from that adapter, which is nice. So we'll see how far we get here. We'll just kind of tune it up so we find any more stations to the top of the band. And we'll do our final thoughts on the scan of the Eaton. Bluetooth capability. Hence the BT. Alarm. Two alarms, actually. Timer A, timer B. Cool, it's fine and stuff. Yay! Single sideband would have been cool on here. Yeah, I'm really curious how it handles maybe like a, a loop antenna or a nice long wire for short wave. That'd be cool. Just to see how it push the limits with this radio. So this, you know, this this wire does pretty good for most radios. But uh, yeah, just having an extra boost would be nice. More gain. Que arroja paladas de rencor sobre la sociedad española. También anuncio la creación de una fundación Concordia y Libertad que presidirá Adolfo Suárez y Llana presente. I think we're almost done with short wave two. Hit short wave three if there's anything up there. It's a fairly big radio, so it's a good table radio. Um, you could hike with this, I mean, out to some small distance. Okay, so here we go. Keep going. I mean, you could hike it out there with this thing, but it's pretty heavy, especially with the batteries in it, 4D batteries. It uh, does get fairly heavy to walk around with. But the sound is just really good, so a great party radio if you got a party going on somewhere. <laughs> shortwave party, who knows? You guys have those? <laughs> I wouldn't mind one. That'd be cool. Everybody brought their shortwave radios out. That'd be awesome. I'll bet you there are clubs that do that. Darn it. <laughs> I want to be a club member. So we're almost done here. Yep, okay, so it's done with the broadcast band. So we're just going to go ahead and I'll turn this off. Stop the scan. Okay. So yeah, the illumination is neat. You get the RDS, which is really cool for FM. Uh, enjoy that. Uh, the radio itself is fairly inexpensive. You can pick this up for, I think, 99 bucks on Amazon. I know eBay had them cheap for a while, but I don't know if those were, you know, what do you call them, uh, refurbs or not. But uh, definitely get them on my Amazon. I'll link below if you're interested in buying this radio and you want to support the channel by all means, use my link. Um, it doesn't come out of your pocket whatsoever. And then you get yourself a cool radio like this. Just, yeah, this gives my recommendation for the money. I'm really happy for what it can do. Um, again, for the FM, AM, and the sound quality. The sound, I'll be honest with you, the sound quality is very, very impressive. And I own some other portable radios like the GE Super Radio, which has a really good speaker also. And I also have C-Cranes uh, EP Pro and EP and 2E model. And I'll be honest with you, this particular radio sounds, I think, the best out of most, yeah, out of almost all of those, except for my Super Radio. It does have a little bit of an edge, probably because it's a bigger speaker. Um, I do like my Super Radio just a little bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, it's great, great audio on this one. So if you enjoyed the presentation of this band scan, give me a big like. Thank you very much. Uh, two, uh, if you love Eaton, Branded, Grundig Edition, Radios, Field BTs, the Traveler 3, the, uh, I don't know, Satellite, the, um, I don't know, what else do I got? I got a few of these radios. Um, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos. I plan on doing a band scan and shortwave uh medium shortwave of the Traveler 3 during the day because I haven't done that yet. And that's a great little portable radio um, that just, just wow, astonishes me with this reception capability. So another great radio. And since I mentioned that, I'll put a link for that radio down there too. You can check it out. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. And until the next episode, we'll see you over at Patreon. 
uh, after hours and uh, take care and goodbye.